What's going on guys, Bio here back with some Anime Ninja, so let's get into this. Today we got the new events out, which are really good if you're going to be topping up, of course, and or going to be getting the plan, depending on how much gold you have. Of course, we're going to be going for the highest one, which is going to be 40k. We also have the uh, Flash Cell, and there's some other events as well, which we're going to be getting into, but... Uh, yeah, the plan I thought we were going to get maybe next week, but we actually got it this week, which is pretty nice. Alright, so there's the Flash Cell. Of course, I'm going to be buying the Ponzi out of there because I want to get a Rochimaru done. We also have the Happy Scratch, which I really wish I would just put this back to the way it used to be. But if you're going to be topping up for anything like that, it should help out. We also have Ninja's Gift topping up as well. And here's the Be Quick, which one of them is already sold out, which kind of sucks. I should actually remember to do this in the morning so that way I could actually get all the rewards before everybody else gets them but uh, let's go into the pack so there's the pack I'm buying of course same one that I always buy which is 40k and uh, the first two are actually sold out and I actually got the last one on that one as well so and there's one more on that so you can see how many people actually got uh, quite a quite a bit of uh, gold on these and we're going to be buying the ones with things that I actually need in them. I might as well spend a little bit. It's not really spending that much. We're going to get back most of it basically from the invest. And we should have around 140 by the time we actually get all our gold back. Unless an event, an event comes up and I can actually buy something. So we'll see how that actually turns out. But... Uh, there it is right there. I think I'm just going to do the invest. It's probably better to wait and do this tomorrow because it does give you a little bit more towards Kaguya power for spending gold. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do it today so I don't have to worry about it because I might forget or something. So we'll just do it today. Uh, we did hit 150, so that should... Oh, I was going to say that should open that one up, but we're a 1,000 short. I might actually just spend a 1,000 because I was planning on buying some more agility and potency. So... We should have that as well. We do have the VIP, the double experience. We also have uh, gold change. And then we have this event, which basically all the other events are top up. We still have the top up event going on as well. So basically all the other events are basically going to work together to help you out if you're going to be topping up. So yeah, that's, I guess, pretty good if you do around maybe... I don't know what uh, the minimum for some of the top up stuff is but if you are going to be topping up a couple thousand that should help out quite a bit and then we do have the elite matches which I ranked really high in which kind of sucks thought I was going to rank a lot lower but I don't know we'll work on that um, if you're wondering why I'm actually going to be buying agility it's for the level 12 agility jade because I want to at least make one of them to show that to you I should have actually just dropped I would have to drop all the coupons I have actually nah I was gonna say I should probably just drop it it's all right now but there's really no point plus I really don't want to spend that much on one agility jade because I would have to spend quite a bit but we do have uh, quite a bit of gold coming back we do have the coupons maybe next event we'll get I don't know what a what event maybe the black market most likely ninja treasure like the gold we currently have we can actually spend so basically the amount of gold that I can currently spend is probably around uh, I'll, I'll top it at like 90 90,000 gold nah probably less than that actually we'll say about 80 because I do want to keep around 50 and we're gonna have about 140 because the packs are only 40 so I could just keep 40 but I like just to have that extra 10k just in case because you never know what uh, events will come out or anything so just always want to keep that little, a little bit of extra gold if I ever need it and sometimes I actually end up using some of it so it does help out but we could potentially waste the 60 well, we should be getting 4k back a day, so we'll probably have a little bit more than that by the time the next events roll around, but we could basically spend around 80,000, which 
I doubt you would even do if there was a new character or anything like that. So, I don't know. We'll see what the next event has to offer. There are new characters coming, of course. Um, since we already got the Vanguard, I'm guessing it's probably going to be either the... Uh, I'm going to probably say support? I don't know. I actually thought we were going to get the Vanguard later, but uh, they gave it to us right away, so... Yeah, we're either going to get a support or a salter. Um, I'm not too sure which two characters are next. I know I went and looked, but I really don't remember, so... I don't know, maybe I'll go back and look, but uh, depending on their skills, because sometimes they do drop their skills and stuff like that compared to the other version, so they are a little bit weaker on our end. And they're actually more expensive as well, but... Um, We'll see how much their skills actually help or if they're about the same as the characters I have now. Because if they're about the same, I might as well wait a couple more characters. Because they're going to keep coming out with characters and they're only just going to get stronger. So if you wait a couple characters, say you skip your Vanguard. Actually, the Vanguard is probably the best one to skip for a while. Like if you get a Rochimaru, I'll just wait like a, a while like this. Latest Vanguard was pretty good if you didn't have one. If you already had a Rochimara, I would have just waited. There's really no point. And then uh, maybe the one after that or the, the one after that is going to have way better stats and abilities and stuff like that. So I don't know. It just really depends on what characters they come out with. And if I actually want to drop the 50 to 80 because that's usually around the price range of a new character. If I want to spend that to actually get a character. So... We'll see. Even if we get the Persian market, I really don't need anything. I mean, I can probably get a pet if they put a new one in there. Although, there aren't too many great pets that I can actually go for. I don't know. I mean, there's a few of them currently. I think uh, the highest one, or the best one, is the Magpie, which I currently have. And the only reason that one's the best is because of the amount of speed you get for it. Of course, that's only at max, though, so... If you can get it to max right away, that will help out a lot, but depending on the next pet, I really don't remember all the pets that came before, because they did add the, like, Fire Lord, I think was the last one that they added. Um, and there's still, like, the Tiger. There's, like, a bunch of pets that they still haven't added in there, and I honestly don't really remember any of their stats, just for the fact that I wasn't really going for them, so I didn't really need to remember all that stuff. But uh, there are other pets out there that are a lot better than the ones we currently have. But we just got to wait for them to get put in there. And maybe if they get put in there, I'll switch them out depending on which one it is. But uh, usually the pets only run about 10k in there. Well, actually a little bit more than that. We'll say about 15k because you got to factor in the price of refreshing. So we'll just uh, say about 15k for whatever pet they put in there. But... Uh, it just depends on what they put in there and then I don't know they might throw in the next Vanguard into it usually they skip a Persian market but I don't know they haven't uh, yeah I think they've put in all the characters that are currently out so if we do get one next week they might skip it but they might just add it in because they usually do because it usually drops around Depending on the refreshes and stuff like that, it usually drops to around 40. It usually costs around 40 or 45,000. And then you do have to factor in the refreshes, which is about 5. So it's usually about 50, 55. Sometimes it's a lot more. It just depends on how uh, how much you spend on refreshing. Because you can go up to 10k. I forgot who it was, but I on one character, I spent around close to about 8,000 refreshing just to get the character it might have been orochimaru honestly i don't remember it's been a while but we're gonna drop some coupons on agility i'm gonna spend about five so that's gonna be 42 which may seem like a lot but it's really not that'll probably get you a level like six or seven so yeah it's really really not that uh not that great so we'll uh see how much agility i already have and may, no, I'm not going to say maybe we can level 1 up because we do need level 10s 
because right now all the agility I currently have I am currently saving for a level 10. Once I get to a level 10 I will go to Hinata, get her jade off of her and level it up to level 11 and then start saving up for another level 11 so that way I can make the 12. Once I get to 12 I will be making the uh, new jade so that's going to be interesting. I have to start saving up some extra Maybe I can probably just use the counter, block, dodge and stuff like that and level up the jade like that. But uh, the stance you actually get, some, get off of uh, some of these jades is pretty insane. Although you're going to be spending quite a bit on getting one of those jades. But I mean right now I have the resources to do so. And by the time I actually get a level 12 I should have enough. Or there should be quite a few more plans before then so that way I have enough gold or coupons to spend on actually getting the jade up to however high I can actually get it up because uh, they are gonna cost quite a bit but the stats you get off of them are pretty insane so we'll see how much I actually spend to get a level 12 first off and then how much I'm gonna actually spend once I actually get it to start leveling it up and stuff because it is gonna be quite expensive Unless you already have level 12s, which uh, I started getting jades a lot later than everybody else. Because um, a lot more people were topping up a lot more back then and getting characters. so Or they were just topping up a lot more uh, when the plans came out. So they were saving up a lot more gold. So, But for right now, we have a perfectly fine team until maybe... Probably a couple more sets of characters come out. Then maybe we can start switching some of them out. But for now, we'll just probably leave them as is. Unless there's a really good character. Continue saving up gold. Never know what events are going to come out. They do add new events in sometimes. They do add new stuff in. So. We will have to save up a little bit of gold. But uh, for now, we don't really have anything to purchase besides Jade. So. I think that's about it. Well, I could actually level up my S weapons at this point as well. The only one that I actually have close is the chakra one, which is the mirror on Hinata. So I could actually level that up to level 10, but that's going to cost me 5k, which I kind of really don't want to do. And then the other ones, I don't know if they're maxed at level. Well, I, I know most of them are at level 10, but uh, I don't know if I have... Uh, any other ones and wow somebody's already got uh, 70 and then 50 and 50 I know the first one I don't know the next two but uh, yeah they topped up quite a bit already so in the top up event you would have to get up to about 7,000 to be even well I think it's a lot more by now but uh, about 10k to even hit the list so yeah that's a lot to actually top up but let's actually use the potency. As you can see, I've been saving since the last event. And we should have actually quite a bit. Let me actually get rid of these first. You know what? We have a ton of stuff in. Let's do this first because I'm trying to make room. If you did not notice, my bag is full. Basically, it's full because of all of these. There's like at least 30 or 40 of them in, uh, in my bag. So we're going to use these real quick. Plus, I have a ton of bags in there right now from uh, all the events. So let's grab all these real quick. I do have to break down the S weapons as well. Do that later. But uh, let's open up this pack. Contains the same stuff it always does. So we're going to open that up. That's going to give us five level sevens, which is really nice. We're hoping to get some agility out of that, or at least something we can actually use. And then we have all these bags. It kind of sucks. I was on when the events refreshed this morning. I should have just bought the growth plan and grabbed all the bags, but I forgot we merged servers because before we never actually. Uh, we would sell out, but uh, it usually took a while, so I guess from now on I'm going to have to do it right away or else most of them are going to sell out because I'm pretty sure the rest of them are going to sell out by the end of uh, this event, so well, I already got them all. We're already up to 51. I doubt I'm going to spend the next, I think it's 10k to get to the next one on the Be Quick, so we're good there, but there's all the boxes. The two other boxes that we got from the Tsunade dice and then there were some other boxes in there 
Uh, we do have our strongest guild title. We'll get that here in a second. We do have our Kage power. We're still trying to level this up. If I really, really wanted to get a little bit of extra, I could have saved the investment till tomorrow, but I'm just going to do it today. I kind of wanted to see how much gold I have. Plus, I think that would only gave us a couple hundred experience, honestly. No, nah, it would have probably gave us quite a bit of experience because that's about 10, no, 9,500 on the investment alone that you're using. So I, I should have actually saved it because that 40 is already quite a bit. It actually already maxes out the Kaguya power, which I don't know how much experience we get. I think it's a thousand. I don't actually know. I should actually go look into that. I haven't really counted it since uh, like Kaguya power like one or two because I was trying to level it up. But at this point, it takes forever to get from five to six. So I don't even think I'm halfway yet. So I'm not even worried about it at this point you'd have to spend a lot of gold and a lot of coupons and you got to spread them out daily and stuff like that but we'll get there when we get there I know it is a little bit of extra coupons and resources actually but yeah getting to level 6 is not easy and we're gonna be using all of these and here are all the jade boxes we're gonna be using it up till I think level 5 or 6 I got to level 6 I think yeah, it's a level six so let's hope for something good at least like a power agility power <laughs> we actually guessed it i got a power and here are the level sevens all right so we got a power agility which are really nice we also got a s attack and hit and stuff like that those five were probably the best five i've ever actually opened on those because most of the times it's like dodge counter and stuff like that but I actually got a power agility as attack although I don't or uh, yeah I don't think I need it actually the power and agility I need of course but uh, I think my s attacks actually maxed out on all my characters because it only goes up to 90 so you can't really do anything with it those are the ones you're gonna be spending on the Jade that you actually level up once you actually get a star Jade so We'll, uh, I don't know if I'll probably save it, but we can actually make some room on some of the other sets. Because all you have to do is level up like four of the other ones. And then the other two slots are basically open for maybe a block or counter. And that's basically how you get all your characters without using socketing. You can actually get all the jades on your complete set if you have high enough jade basically so you can actually max out counter block and um almost said hit it's not hit counter block and dodge you can bas basically max that out without well you could probably have you would have to use maybe one or two sockets just for the theory but you can basically almost do it so we're just working towards that, plus uh, S attack as well as... Uh, I think those are the only ones that max out at 90. So those four are the ones that you're basically going to be trying to get high as possible. Have them on at least four pieces. Then the other two pieces free you up for maybe a counter or whatever you want to put on them. But uh, we're going to start off at level 6 on these as you can see here. Just for the fact that... Anything lower than that's really not going to do anything for me. So, yeah, I could already see we have a force, we have an agility, and we have a power that I can actually use. So those are all going to be made into level 8. I'm not going to do it, like, right away. I'm going to go look at my jade and stuff like that. But that's basically what we're going to do with those. We have, uh... I don't know if I need the crit. Oh, I think crit actually maxes out at 90 as well, so... Although crit is really hard to get, so my characters are not even close to maxing out on that. But uh, power I definitely need. That's one of the ones you can actually get up to level... Um, to actually get up to the Star Jade, so... We'll uh, see about that. I do have the extra Fury, which I guess is nice. I should actually start leveling these up to level 12 as well. I mean... I. I have one like that's really close look at that I have 11 of these which is pretty insane uh, I'm not gonna do it but I could 
and start leveling out Max Fury, but kind of want to just hang on to it. I still need one more complete set of... Actually, I need two more complete sets of Fury, which would be my main and uh, Orochi Mario. I don't know. Do, yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, my Assaulter... One Assaulter and two supports have complete Fury sets, so I'm missing two. But uh, that's the one I'm going to be trying to get up to level 12 on the agility. Hopefully I can get it done sometime soon. So the agility jade I have now is basically out of the running. We're not going to be doing anything with it. We're just going to continue to save it until I get another level 10. Level the 10 to, to 11. Start building up to another at level 11 and then get the 12 and then go on from there. But uh, I think that's going to be about it for this one. I'm just going to mess around with the jades, move them around and stuff like that. So... I don't know how long that takes, it usually takes a couple minutes, but uh, I usually just cut off the footage here, but I'm just going to leave it in there, you guys can check out the jades I have, but thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, hopefully you guys were actually able to actually get the growth plan and get some extra gold, would recommend if you're starting off small with gold, I started off with, I don't know, a couple thousand gold or something like that, I started off really, really small, and all you have to do is just keep building that up. Go to the next pack next time and keep building it up. And then once you hit the 20, you'll hit that 20, you'll get 40. And then once you get that 40, you wait till the next one, you get 40 more. And that's basically the gold you're going to be spending from now on. So that's all you have to do. It does not take a lot of gold to build it up, but it does take a lot of time. And you just can't spend the gold. That's basically about it. But uh, hopefully you guys are able to do it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to you guys later.